Hello and welcome. It's Fisher Fodder with lovelycourse.com as we continue our journey into project management. Today, we're going to talk about the first stage in the five stages of project management, which is the project initiation. Why is this important or what all do we deal with in our project initiation? Again, every project within any enterprise, within any business is there to either cut down on cost for efficiency, for effectiveness, or increase profitability. Whether we're upgrading, whether we're migrating, whether whatever that project is, there is a goal. So there's a couple of things that we start with, which is number one, what's the business case? We need to justify the need for the project and estimating potential benefits, the business case. Also a feasibility study, which means we evaluate the problem and determine if the project will solve it. We wanna make sure we're bringing a solution with this project. In addition to that, now that we've done those two, uh, we get into, or project initiation means a number of other things. For example, what's our business case? Number two, what are the project goals, scope, and size? Number three, when it comes to project organization, those are the general questions we always ask about our project, which is who, why, what, when, how of our project? Who's involved in it or who wants it done? Why are we working on this project? When should it be done? How are we going to complete this project? And then, as we mentioned earlier, we need to identify the constraints that we're going to be facing. So before we even start in the project, if we're going to depend on a factor, the purchase of something or a resource that needs to be available, whether that resource is a team member, such as the security team or the database team or the, the cloud team, for example, or it's a server that we need to purchase or have access to or single sign on or another project that our project is dependent on, we need to know what those constraints are. Next is the project risks. What are the risks? What are the challenges? What are the dependencies that we're gonna face in this project? It could be shortage of employees. We don't have enough people working on this project. Maybe it's a budget that's tighter than what we're expected to spend in it. Maybe if it's a schedule that's a lot more aggressive that we can finish things within that time control. What risks are we gonna be taking there? Next, we need to identify who the stakeholders are. Now there's different kind of meetings. Some are called the RAD meetings and so on. But basically we need to identify Who's gonna approve this project? Who are gonna be interacting with? Who are subject SMEs, our subject matter experts? Next is project controls and reporting framework. We wanna make sure that communication within all the different team members, our technical team, our IT team, our business team, our stakeholders, our project managers, our business analysts, our developers, our administrators, our managers and, and, and different departments, that there is that bridge, that there's that communication. So how do we control kind of the reporting framework? In addition to that is the criteria for closing and assessing the project. How do we consider this project as complete and how do we wrap it up and complete it so we can then move to the next project? So those are some of the things that are involved in what we call project initiation. In other words, to kind of rephrase this and summarize it when we talk about project initiation, we are identifying the problem and the opportunity. We're establishing project goals. We're defining our project objectives. We're performing cost benefit analysis. We're determining the success criteria, and then we list our assumptions, risks, and obstacles when in our project. So it's a very core part of what we do in terms of project management. And to complete our assignment, simply go into lovelycourse.com, scroll down, go to your course, which is project management, log it into it, once you're logged in, you're gonna be able to see today's lesson, which is five stages of project management, project initiation, go in, study the notes that are in project initiation and watch the videos that are attached to it. Once you complete that lesson, you could scroll down all the way at the end of project management to the practice exam, where you're gonna be able to take the test questions related to that subject. If you get it correctly, it's autocorrected and it's gonna show you that you have the right answer. If you get the wrong answer, it's going to point out what the right answer is, and you can take the quiz over and over until you're ready for the certification exam. We wish you the best of luck. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.